Some people say if you have sweet blood, you're more likely to be bitten by mosquitoes. And other people say it's actually your blood type that determines if you're going to be bitten by mosquitoes more than others. But the question is, what is really the deal here? What makes some people more likely to be bitten by mosquitoes than other people? I'm going to give you the answer today. I'm also going to tell you why mosquito bites itch so much. Uh, and let me tell you, this is a very personal topic to me because I get eaten up by mosquitoes, uh, especially in the summertime. Guys, I'm also going to show you some pictures of my own crazy mosquito bites that are raging. Uh, make sure you watch to the end of the video for that. Oh, by the way, I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. Thanks so much for joining me. Let's first start talking about why some people get bitten by mosquitoes when it seems like other people don't. And this really is a thing, by the way. So first of all, there are some studies that suggest that those who wear dark clothing may be more attractive to to mosquitoes than people who wear other colors, okay? That's one theory, although there have been some studies that say other colors like orange and red may be attractive. So, you know, uh, there you be. Um, other places and other uh, sources say perfumes. Uh, perfumes, if you wear perfumes in certain scents, that may attract mosquitoes. Also, let's talk about the blood type situation, okay? Because there actually has been a study that suggested in this particular study, one type of mosquito uh, was attracted to type O blood, preferably, and then type A blood as like a second choice. But there have been other studies uh, with different mosquitoes saying type B blood. So, you know, you got to, I don't want to say take this with a grain of salt, but understand it depends on the mosquito that was tested um, and what mosquito tested may correlate with different blood types. Okay, so keep that in mind. Also, some people say body temperature, okay? Uh, body temperature, the warmer the temperature of your body, um, that may attract mosquitoes. Interesting, huh? Um, and then also, this is something I've seen pretty much all across the board. A lot of sources say it's the chemicals in your sweat like sort of the natural chemicals that you give off, that you radiate, that is um, a sort of a criteria for mosquitoes. Also, exhaled carbon dioxide or CO2 can be a determinant of whether mosquitoes want you or whether they want someone else, how much you emit, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, keep that in mind. And then also there actually have been, um, you know, some sources that suggest things like pregnancy can be sort of an attractor for, for mosquitoes. Also, even beer consumption interestingly enough. Um, and then, of course, we've got sort of the tried and trues, and there's a few others that's sort of in that category, but we got like the tried and trues, right? So like, obviously, if you're in an area where there are mosquitoes, if you're not wearing mosquito repellent, if you are, um, you know, if you're if you're not covered, all those kind of things obviously predispose you to be bitten by mosquitoes. But I definitely think like the clothing color, perfumes, blood type, which a lot of people talk about. Uh, a lot of people talk about sweet blood. I, my blood must be the sweetest, okay? <laughs> Let me tell you, because I get bitten up like nobody's business, um, blood type, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so this is the thing. I, by the way, guys, I did a video on um, some remedies, some home remedies that can actually help with mosquito bites, some that I actually use myself because I get bitten up and eaten up all the time. Uh, I put, I'll put that uh, description I'll put that link to that video in the description of this video if you want it and don't see it, please just send me a message and I'll send you the link. Okay, so let's now talk about, uh, so those are some factors that attract mosquitoes um, and one of the, some of the reasons why you might be bitten more. Let's talk about why mosquito bites itch so much. And guys, they itch so much. The pictures I'm going to show you at the end are pictures of, again, my mosquito bites and like, I feel itchy even just thinking about it. All right, so um, some first of all, first thing you should know, which I think is fascinating, is it's the female mosquitoes that do the biting. Can you believe it? Yeah, it's female mosquitoes. Those are the ones that do the biting. Males don't bite humans um, because females need to bite humans for the protein in blood because they need that protein to help develop um, their eggs. Uh, males don't need that. Uh, males actually eat flower nectar. Females will feed on flower nectar and blood. So it's females that are getting us. Um, now the thing about it is when a mosquito bites, and I think this is really interesting to keep in mind, when a mosquito bites, it doesn't just say bite us for no good reason. The female is biting for a specific purpose. She is biting to get blood, okay, because she needs the protein from the blood to sort of develop eggs and things like that. But at the same time, she's injecting saliva, her saliva, into 
us, okay, into our, our tissues. Um, and interestingly enough, it's that saliva that she's injecting that causes the issue. See, when saliva gets injected by the mosquito, when they're sort of withdrawing the blood and they're injecting the saliva, our body sees that as literally like an invader. Our body is like, what in the world is this? And it causes a reaction, basically an allergic reaction. Our body releases histamine and all sorts of chemicals to help us sort of deal with like this, what our body thinks is a foreign invader, which it actually is. It's a mosquito bite. It's mosquito saliva. So it creates an allergic reaction. And that's why um, we get itchy. That's why we get sometimes a bump. Sometimes and you'll see in the pictures that I show you, like literally I get like, I get like these huge, huge welts, these like big, oh my God, they're horrible. And they can be super big. Um, I'm really curious, by the way, let me know in the comments. Uh, I want to know, First of all, and I didn't ask you guys this, guys this before, but um, what what have you thought mosquitoes bite for? Like in terms of the things that attract mosquitoes, what things have you heard? Also, I want to know what are your mosquito bites like? Do you get crazy, crazy mosquito bites like me? Uh, anyway, uh, some information just about who actually does the biting. It is not the male. It is the female because she needs uh, protein for her eggs. Um, so actually, let me show you now some photos of uh, my crazy mosquito bites, which I mean, like, honestly, it's crazy. All right, so um, so take a look at this. Um, these are some mosquito bites. Um, these are, uh, and I know it's maybe sometimes it's a little bit hard to see, and I was taking the picture myself, so like the back of my leg is, it's, I was trying to get the angle right, and I was trying to like focus in, um, but you can see these like large welts. This is like the back of my calf. Um, they were literally like this big. And when I get mosquito bites as well, they seem to last like forever. I really try not to itch. I do these home remedies I was telling you about. Obviously, I wear bug spray and all that kind of stuff, but I still get bitten sometimes. Um, but I um, do like a baking soda thing. And again, I've got this in my other videos. But these are some of the bites that I get. They itch like crazy. They are insanely itchy. Um, and they also sort of make these big, big spots. They do eventually go away for me. I'm curious when you get mosquito bites, what are your mosquito bites like? Do they look like this? Um, and actually some people can have really, really bad reactions to mosquito bites, which I think is super interesting. So, um, you know, let me know in the comments what your mosquito bites are like. I'm super, super curious. I hope this is interesting. I actually find this super fascinating and I do a number of videos on mosquitoes because I am particularly plagued by them. They are my nemesis, nemesi, if that's a plural, I don't know. <laughs> but let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, for those of you on Facebook, hello, please like and follow my page if you have not already. Um, and for those of you who want exclusive content, I have my subscribers group called Dr. Jen Superstars. Subscribe to that um, to make sure you get um, exclusive content. Also, um, and by the way, for those of you on YouTube, hello, it's so good to see you guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the little bell for updates. For, for both of you on Facebook and, and uh, YouTube, um, check out my website, drjencoddle.com. Um, sign up for my free health newsletter. And I also have a new offering called Dr. Jen's Daily Health tips where I send health tips to your email inbox every single day. Uh, you can sign up, uh, subscribe to receive those. There's also a seven day free trial. I feel like I'm tripping on my words. Anyway, guys, I hope this is helpful. Let me know what you think about mosquitoes, the skeeters. Um, guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I'll talk to you soon.